Story time and cooking with Forsy is buzzing. She took a regular piece of pumpkin, added it to seasoned chicken, and cooked a super tasty pot of pumpkin soup. She shared the soup with two friends who told another friend, and now a few friends are asking for a taste of that mouth-watering pumpkin soup. Here's how she made it, using six key ingredients. Add the pre-seasoned chicken to a pot, thighs, drumsticks, and backs. Wash, peel, and grate a piece of pumpkin, then add the grated pumpkin to the chicken. Fill the pot with water to the level of the pumpkin or just above, and bring to a boil on medium to high heat. Meanwhile, wash a few sweet potatoes and white potatoes, then place them in a separate pot. Add salt and a few drops of oil, and partially cook the potatoes on medium heat. When soft but still firm, drain the water. Allow to cool, then peel and set aside. Check the soup and add water as necessary. When the chicken is cooked, add the sweet and white potatoes to the pot and continue boiling on medium to low heat. As the liquid dries, do a taste test and add salt or seasoning as needed. In this case, I added crushed garlic, a dash of all-purpose seasoning, a tablespoon of my homemade green seasoning, of course, and one teaspoon of basil, oregano, and parsley, and give it a good stir to combine. While the soup thickens, make a few basic white dumplings to add to the pot. In a bowl, add two cups of flour, one teaspoon salt, and stir to combine. Pour in enough water to make a fairly stiff dough. Roll small quantities of the dough into small balls and drop them in the boiling soup. These dumplings will cook quickly. Give the soup a stir and when you're satisfied with the level of liquid and that everything has cooked, turn off the stove. This is the delicious pumpkin soup that's creating a buzz among my friends. We Caribbean people love soup. In my household in Dominica, we cooked red bean soup, lentil soup, callaloo, pumpkin soup, and I used to like dipping my bread in the soup. The pumpkin soup was an absolute delight during my childhood days. There are variations of the pumpkin soups, of course, from the cream of pumpkin soup to the ones that I cooked. But even with that, you can add a lot more ground provisions to it, such as green bananas, tanya dashing, yams, as well as different types and combinations of meats. You can even add cornmeal to the dumplings and shape them oblong or flat and round, you know, and once you are served with a tasty bowl of soup, I am guaranteed that the plate or the bowl will come back clean. Thanks for watching Storytime and Cooking with 4C. Subscribe to my channel to watch more videos.